Frederick, Crown Prince of Denmark, Count of Muntzat, is the heir apparent to the Danish throne. He is the elder son of Queen Margrethe II and Prince Henrik. Early Life Princess Margrethe was born April 16, 1940 at Frederick VIII's palace, in her parents' residence at the Amalienborg Palace complex, the principal residence of the Danish royal family in the district of Frederiksdalen in central Copenhagen. She was the first child of the Crown Prince and Crown Princess. Her father was the elder son of the then reigning King Christian X, while her mother was the only daughter of the Crown Prince of Sweden. Her birth took place just one week after Nazi Germany's invasion of Denmark on April 9, 1940. Margrethe was baptized on May 14 in the Hallmen Church in Copenhagen. The princess's godparents were King Christian X, hereditary Prince Nude, Prince Axel, King Gustav V of Sweden, Crown Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden, Prince Gustav Adolf, Duke of Vasterbotten, and Prince Arthur. Duke of Connaught and Strathen. She was named Margrethe after her late maternal grandmother, Crown Princess Margaret of Sweden, Alexandrine after her paternal grandmother, Queen Alexandrine, and Ingrid after her mother. Since her paternal grandfather was also the King of Iceland, she was given the Icelandic name Rilder. When Margrethe was four years old, in 1944, her younger sister Princess Benedict was born. Princess Benedict later married Prince Richard of Say in wittgenstein berleberg and lives some of the time in Germany. Her second sister, Princess Anne-Marie, was born in 1946. Anne-Marie later married King Constantine II of the Hellenes and currently lives in Greece. Margrethe and her sisters grew up in apartments at Frederick VIII's palace at Amalienborg in Copenhagen and in Friedensborg Palace in North Zealand. She spent summer holidays with the royal family in her parents' summer residence at Grassen Palace in southern Jutland. On April 20, 1947, King Christian X died and Margrethe's father ascended the throne as King Frederick IX. To her family and close friends, Margrethe is known affectionately as Daisy. Heir Presumptive At the time of her birth, only males could ascend the throne of Denmark owing to the changes in succession laws enacted in the 1850s when the Glucksburg branch was chosen to succeed. As Margrethe had no brothers, it was assumed that her uncle Prince Nude would one day assume the throne. The process of changing the constitution started in 1947, not long after Margrethe's father ascended the throne and it became clear that Queen Ingrid would have no more children. The popularity of Frederick and his daughters and the more prominent role of women in Danish life started the complicated process of altering the constitution. The law required that the proposal be passed by two successive parliaments and then by a referendum, which occurred March 27, 1953. The new act of succession permitted female succession to the throne of Denmark, according to male preference cognatic primogeniture where a female can ascend to the throne only if she does not have a brother. Princess Margrethe therefore became heir presumptive. On her 18th birthday, April 16, 1958, Margrethe was given a seat in the Council of State. She subsequently chaired the meetings of the Council in the absence of the King. In 1960, together with the princesses of Sweden and Norway, she travelled to the United States which included a visit to Los Angeles, and to the Paramount Studios, where they met several celebrities, including Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, and Elvis Presley. Education Margrethe was educated at the private school and Zales School in Copenhagen, from which she graduated in 1959. She spent a year at North Forland Lodge, a boarding school for girls in Hampshire, England, and later studied prehistoric archaeology at Girton College, Cambridge, during 1960-1961, political science at Aarhus University between 1961 and 1962, attended the Sorbonne in 1963, and was at the London School of Economics in 1965. 
She is a fellow of the Society of Antiquaries of London. Margrethe is fluent in Danish, French, English, Swedish, and German, and has a limited knowledge of Faroese. Marriage and Children During Princess Margrethe's stay in London, she met the French diplomat, Henri Marie Jean Andre de Laborde de Montpzat, who was legation secretary at the Embassy of France in London. Their engagement was announced on October 5. 1966. They were married on June 10, 1967, at the Hallmen Church in Copenhagen, and the wedding reception was held at Friedensborg Palace. Laborde de Muntzat received the style and title of His Royal Highness Prince Henrik of Denmark because of his new position as the spouse of the heir presumptive to the Danish throne. They were married for over 50 years until his death on February 13, 2018. Less than a year after the wedding, Princess Margrethe gave birth to her first child, a son, on May 26, 1968. By tradition, Danish kings were alternately named either Frederick or Christian. She chose to maintain this by assuming the position of a Christian, and thus named her elder son Frederick. The following year, a second child, named Joachim, was born on June 7, 1969. Reign Accession Shortly after King Frederick IX delivered his New Year's address to the nation at the 1971-72 turn of the year, he fell ill, and died 14 days later on January 14, 1972. Margrethe succeeded to the throne at the age of 31 becoming the first female Danish sovereign under the new act of succession. She was proclaimed queen from the balcony of Christiansborg Palace January 15, 1972 by Prime Minister Jens Otto Krag. Queen Margrethe II relinquished all the monarch's former titles except the title to Denmark, hence her style by the grace of God, Queen of Denmark. The queen chose the motto, God's help, the love of the people. Denmark's strength. In her first address to the people, Queen Margrethe II said, My beloved father, our king, is dead. The task that my father had carried for nearly twenty-five years is now resting on my shoulders. I pray to God to give me help and strength to carry the heavy heritage. May the trust that was given to my father also be granted to me. Constitutional Role the Queen's main tasks are to represent the kingdom abroad and to be a unifying figure at home. She performs the latter by opening exhibitions, attending anniversaries, and inaugurating bridges, among other things. She receives foreign ambassadors, awards, honors, and medals. As an unelected public official, the Queen takes no part in party politics and does not express any political opinions. Although she has the right to vote, she opts not to do so to avoid even the appearance of partisanship. The Queen holds a meeting with the Prime Minister and the Foreign Affairs Minister every Wednesday, unless she or the Prime Minister is outside of the kingdom. After an election where the incumbent Prime Minister does not have a majority behind him or her, the Queen holds a drawing or unday in which she meets the chairman of each of the Danish political parties. Each party has the choice of selecting a royal investigator to lead these negotiations or alternatively, give the incumbent Prime Minister the mandate to continue his or her government as is. In theory each party could choose its own leader as royal investigator, the social liberal debt Roddy Kale Venstra did so in 2006 but often only one royal investigator is chosen plus the prime minister, before each election. The leader who, at that meeting succeeds in securing a majority of the seats in the Folke Ting, is by royal decree charged with the task of forming a new government. Once the government has been formed, it is formally appointed by the queen. Officially, it is the queen who is the head of government, and she therefore presides over the Council of State where the acts of legislation which have been passed by the Parliament are signed into law. In practice, nearly all of the Queen's formal powers are exercised by the Cabinet of Denmark. The Queen is also the Colonel-in-Chief of the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment, an infantry regiment of the British Army, 
following a tradition in her family. Silver and Ruby Jubilees Queen Margrethe II marked her Silver Jubilee in 1997 with a religious service and a gala dinner attended by fellow Scandinavian royals. She celebrated her Ruby Jubilee, the 40th year on the throne, on January 14, 2012. This was marked by a church service, concert, carriage procession, gala banquet at Christiansborg Palace and numerous TV interviews. Immigration Debate In an interview within the 2016 book De Diebstreder, according to historians at the Saxo Institute of the University of Copenhagen she showed a change in attitude to immigration towards a more restrictive stance. She stated that the Danish people should have more explicitly clarified the rules and values of Danish culture in order to be able to teach them to new arrivals. She further stated that the Danes in general have underestimated the difficulties involved in successful integration of immigrants, exemplified with the rules of a democracy not being clarified to Muslim immigrants and a lack of readiness to enforce those rules. This was received as a change in line with the attitude of the Danish people. Golden Jubilee The Queen's Golden Jubilee was marked on January 14, 2022, with celebrations to take place later in the year. Personal Life and Interests The official residences of the Queen are Amalienborg Palace in Copenhagen and Friedensborg Palace. Her summer residences are Marcellusborg Palace near Aarhus and Grassen Palace near Tinderborg, the former home of her mother, Queen Ingrid, who died in 2000. Margrethe is an accomplished painter and has held many art shows over the years. Her illustrations under the pseudonym Inga Hildgrat Homer were used for Danish editions of The Lord of the Rings, which she was encouraged to illustrate in the early 1970s. She sent them to J.R.R. Tolkien, who was struck by the similarity of her drawings to his own style. Margrethe's drawings were redrawn by the British artist Eric Fraser for the Folio Society's English edition of The Lord of the Rings, first published in 1977 and reissued in 2002. In 2000, she illustrated Prince Henrik's poetry collection Contabile. Another skill she possesses is costume designing having designed the costumes for the Royal Danish Ballet's production of A Folk Tale and for the 2009 Peter Flint film, De Vildis Vayner. She also designs her own clothes and is known for her colorful and sometimes eccentric clothing choices. Margrethe also wears designs by former Pierre Balma designer Eric Mortensen, Jergen Bender, and Birgit Tallow. The Guardian in March 2013 listed her as one of the 50 best dressed over 50s. In connection with her 80th birthday, British Vogue published an article calling her an unsung style heroine. Margrethe has been a chain smoker and is well known for her tobacco habit. On November 23, 2006, the Danish newspaper BT printed an announcement from the royal court that the Queen would henceforth smoke only in private. The Queen has had a number of health issues. During the 1990s and early 2000s, she was operated several times in her right knee due to injuries and osteoarthritis. In 1994, she was treated for cervical cancer. On February 9, 2022, the Danish Royal House disclosed in a press release that the Queen had contracted COVID-19. On February 13, the Queen could leave home isolation after having had a mild case of the virus. On September 21, 2022, the Danish Royal House disclosed in a press release that the Queen had again contracted COVID-19, after attending the funeral of Elizabeth II, her third cousin, in London. She left home isolation on September 26 and resumed her official duties immediately, stating that she felt fine. Family The Queen has two children and eight grandchildren, all born at Riggs Hospitalet in Copenhagen. Crown Prince Frederick He married Mary Donaldson on May 14, 2004 at Copenhagen Cathedral, Copenhagen. The couple has four children. Prince Christian Princess Isabella Prince Vincent 
Princess Josephine. Prince Joachim. He married Alexandra Manley on November 18, 1995 at Frederiksborg Palace Church, Hillard. They divorced on April 8, 2005. He then married Marie Cavalier on May 24, 2008 at Mjiltunder Church, Mjiltunder. Joachim has four children. Prince Nikolai. Prince Felix. Prince Henrik. Princess Athena. In 2008, the Queen announced that her descendants would bear the additional title of Count or Countess of Muntzat, in recognition of her husband's ancestry. In 2022, the Queen announced that from start of 2023, the descendants of Prince Joachim will only be able to use their titles of Count and Countess of Muntzat, their previous titles of Prince and Princess of Denmark ceasing to exist. To make the children have normal lives, the Queen wants to create a framework for the four grandchildren, to a much greater degree, to be able to shape their own existence without being limited by the special considerations and obligations that a formal affiliation with the royal house as an institution implies. Her son and grandchildren publicly expressed shock and confusion because of the decision. Later Queen Margrethe said she was sad about upsetting family members with her decision but she did not change it. Honours She is the 1188th Knight of the Order of the Golden Fleece in Spain, and only the seventh Lady of the Order of the Garter since 1901, when Edward VII appointed his consort a member. She is also Colonel-in-Chief of the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment in the United Kingdom. Queen Margrethe II Land in Northeast Greenland was named in her honour on April 16, 1990 on the occasion of her 50th birthday. National Denmark Sovereign Knight of the Order of the Elephant Sovereign Knight Grand Commander with Collar of the Order of the Danabrog Knight of the Decoration of the Cross of Honour of the Danabrog Home Guard Medal of Merit 25 Years of Home Guard Service Medal Medal of Honour of the League of Civil Defence Medal of Honour of the Reserve Officers League 100th Anniversary Medal of the Birth of King Christian X 50th Anniversary Medal of the Arrival of Queen Ingrid to Denmark 100th Anniversary Medal of the Birth of King Frederick IX Queen Ingrid Commemorative Medal Greenland Nursornate Medal for Meritorious Service, First Class Foreign Argentina, Grand Cross of the Order of the Liberator San Martin Austria, Grand Cross of the Decoration for Services to the Republic of Austria Belgium, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Leopold I Brazil, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Southern Cross Bulgaria, Grand Cross of the Order of the Stara Planina Chile, Grand Cross of the Order of the Merit of Chile Estonia, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Cross of Terra Mariana Egypt, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Nile Finland, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the White Rose France, Grand Cross of the Order of the Legion of Honor Germany, Grand Cross Special Class of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany Greece Greek Royal Family, Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Order of Saints Olga and Sophia, Special Class Greece, Grand Cross of the Order of the Redeemer Iceland, Grand Cross of the Order of the Falcon Iranian Imperial Family, Dame Grand Cordon of the Order of the Pleiades Italy, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic Japan Knight Grand Cordon with Collar of the Order of the Chrysanthemum Grand Cordon of the Order of the Precious Crown Jordan Knight Grand Cordon with Collar of the Order of Al Hussein bin Ali. Latvia, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Three Stars. Lithuania, Grand Cross of the Order of Vytautas the Great. Luxembourg, Knight of the Order of the Gold Lion of the House of Nassau. Mexico, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Aztec Eagle. Morocco, 
Grand Cordon of the Order of Wissam Alawit. Netherlands, Knight Grand Cross of the Order of the Netherlands Lion. Nepalese Royal Family, Member Grand Cross of the Order of Honor. Norway, Knight Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of St. Olav. Recipient of the Silver Jubilee Medal of King Olav V. Recipient of the Silver Jubilee Medal of King Harold V. Poland. Grand Cross of the Order of the White Eagle. Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Republic of Poland. Portugal. Grand Cross with Collar of the Military Order of St. James of the Sword. Grand Collar of the Order of Prince Henry. Romania. Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the Star of Romania. Saudi Arabia. Collar of the Order of Abdulaziz Al Saud. Slovakia. Grand Cross of the Order of the White Double Cross. Slovenia, Member First Class of the Order of Freedom of the Republic of Slovenia. Spain, Knight of the Order of the Golden Fleece. Knight Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of Charles III. Sweden, Member Grand Cross with Collar of the Royal Order of the Seraphim. Recipient of the 85th Birthday Medal of King Gustav VI Adolf. Recipient of the 40th Birthday Medal of King Carl XVI Gustav. Recipient of the Ruby Jubilee Medal of King Carl XVI Gustav. South Africa, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of Good Hope. South Korea, Grand Cross with Collar of the Grand Order of Mugang Awe. Thailand, Knight of the Order of the Rajamitraborn. Knight of the Order of the Royal House of Chukri. United Arab Emirates, Grand Cordon of the Order of Al Kamal. United Kingdom, Stranger Knight of the Order of the Garter. Recipient of the Royal Victorian Chain. Yugoslavia, Great Star of the Order of the Yugoslav Star Queen Margrethe is also Colonel in Chief of British Infantry Regiment, the Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. This tradition started with what became the Buffs in 1689 with Prince George of Denmark, it was resurrected in the early 20th century when King Frederick VII was made Colonel-in-Chief of the Buffs. Since then the Danish monarch has been the Colonel-in-Chief or Allied Colonel-in-Chief of the Buffs, Queen's Own Buffs, Queen's Regiment and Princess of Wales's Royal Regiment. Non-Governmental Organizations Slovakia Tree of Peace Memorial Plaque Awarded on April 16, 2020, on the occasion of her 80th birthday anniversary. Plaque presented on behalf of Server E.T. Mainera on September 29, 2020 to Henning Fode, Private Secretary of the Queen by Miroslav Olakovsky, the Ambassador of the Slovak Republic to the Kingdom of Denmark. Arms, Standards and Monograms See also Monarchy of Denmark List of current sovereign monarchs List of national leaders